Hey folks, Kevin here again. I am back in the suburban woods in Turku, the city where I live. Today I'm going to take a walk through the woods and test out my mesh or knitting thermal underwear. Currently you can see I've got a puffy jacket on, so the idea is to build up heat and start the sweating process. I'll then take the jacket off and continue on. And uh, yeah, we'll see basically as I go how much the sweat is wicked away from my skin and how I feel, whether I'm cold or still too hot. As thermal underwear today, I have on the Aklima Merino netting top. Aklima is a Norwegian company. For my leggings, I have a brand called Svala of Finland and it's made from polypropylene, so it's a synthetic. Currently the temperature is about plus three, uh, not much in the way of wind. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite nice and sunny. This is one of the first days that really feels like spring. Uh, you can hear a lot more birds now than you could even a week or two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, even though there's still quite a lot of snow on the ground, it seems to be mostly melting, which is good. Just to prove to you that I'm in the suburbs, I'm not sure if you can see this, but behind me on the horizon, there should be a block of flats sticking up above the tree line. And uh, there are actually are houses that are just down the bottom of this slope. Whew. So I've been hiking for about half an hour now and I can feel some sweat build up on my back. What I'm going to do now is take my puffy jacket off. That leaves me with the mesh top next to the skin. And then I've got a polyester light top that goes on top of that. I'll hike on for a bit and then I'll fill you in again how I feel. So I immediately feel a lot cooler now that I've taken the puffy jacket off and I just have this polyester top and the mesh beneath. And of course I have my merino uh, neck scarf and hat. By keeping constantly moving, I can basically keep on going like this indefinitely. I still feel warm, but at the same time, I can feel the coolness coming through the polyester shirt, through the mesh into my skin. And uh, yeah, it's quite pleasant. realized that by opening the upper jersey and by folding up my sleeves and maybe even removing the neck gaiter I can of course help to cool down a lot faster so uh, I guess if I had a, a top which had uh, zips underneath the arms to also help venting that would also help to get rid of excess heat a lot faster I'm going to use my gas cooker cook up some water I'll make a cup of coffee and have a small break before I continue on. So uh, I'm going to time how long it takes until I feel I need to put the puffer jacket back on again. Okay, it's been about half an hour now and I'm only feeling slightly chilly. I rolled up my sleeves to uh, try and keep a little bit of heat in and I've closed the neck opening on my polyester top. But other than that, yeah, I'm a little bit chilly but still quite bearable. Uh, Bear in mind that the temperature currently is about 5 degrees Celsius. If this was minus degrees, uh, this uh, time would be quite a bit shorter. But uh, I also noticed as well that uh, I don't feel damp or wet anymore on my back where the rucksack was uh, against my back. And uh, yeah, I, I feel actually quite dry. I'm going to put my puffer jacket on now and uh, enjoy a cup of coffee and a biscuit. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. <sighs> Oh, that's nice. The video's chocolate digestives for the win. Mm. Okay, so I'm on the way again. Yeah, I was starting to get a little bit cold even with the puffer jacket on. So this arrangement with just the net netting thermal wear, uh, a light polyester shirt and a puffer jacket is uh, fine if you're actually active and moving. Uh, not so much for sitting around and not moving very much at all. Before I finish, I just wanted to show you what the actual mesh looks like as a set of the things I do for YouTube. Basically, it looks like this. Um, it has the closed areas down the sides and also has reinforced shoulders. This is nice if you're wearing a rucksack so the mesh itself doesn't bite into your skin. On the leggings then as well, 
These also have reinforcements in the crotch. You can get them with also with the reinforcements in the knees. Uh, one thing I definitely would recommend would be that if you know that you are a heavy sweater or indeed that you're going to be sweating buckets if you're doing extra strenuous stuff, don't forget also to wear underpants that wick sweat away from your skin. I usually use uh, merino wool underpants, boxers, uh, beneath the thermal layer when, it, when I'm hiking, just for extra comfort. Yes, after this uh, walk I am I feel dry and I feel quite warm and comfortable. So uh, yeah, I, these are definitely definitely worth the money. And uh, I also look forward to trying them out uh, in a few weeks in Lapland when I'm there on a skiing holiday. And indeed, later on in the year when the weather turns hot, uh, it'll be interesting to see then their properties for keeping a body cool. I hope this video has been useful to you. And uh, yeah, you might also consider uh, getting similar sorts of uh, mesh underwear for hiking or for outdoor use. Uh, it, it's worth considering. So this is Kevin signing off. I'm going to put some clothes on now and uh, I hope to see you on the next video. All the best. Moin moin.